Welcome to International Securities Exchange's podcast series. Facilitated by renowned educators, ISE podcasts are intended to teach beginning as well as seasoned investors the ins and outs of trading. To find an updated list of podcasts, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts. Please be sure to listen to our important message following this episode regarding the risks of investing in exchange-traded options. John, using Fibonacci, can you do anything with this since it's in such a consolidation? What would you do oh, yeah, with yeah. this? Sort? Yeah, for sure. In fact, you know, consolidations or channels are uh, pretty handy with Fibonacci retracement. So, you know, you know the, the, the CAD, for example, it's been kind of stuck in this channel. I'm just right. drawing a couple of rough lines here. It's been kind of stuck in this channel since October, right? And which, by the way, you know, the, the CAD, I'm, I've been trading the CAD for a long time, and it does this. Uh, when it channels, boy, it just channels. Uh, but, you, you know, you can draw a retracement right through that channel, and you start to identify, well, okay, so let me clean this up a little bit. Start to identify where are some of those potential levels at which the, you know, you may get one of these pauses. So, you know, a classic example would be right here, that the market paused from November through December right there at the 61.8. And then just recently we were rejected before we even got to the top of the channel at the 23.6. So, it, you know, it kind of presents a couple of uh, areas that we start to think about resistance. And, you know, if we were long when the market was getting up to 107 and the 23.6 line, and so we start to get some of this volatility like we did in the, on the 1st of February, uh, that's, we, we might start getting concerned. Uh, a retracement versus fans are going to work the best in, like, you know, when you're in a channel and you're looking at a channel, they, they're, they're probably the tool of choice. Interesting. Very interesting. Do you see any other questions, John? I don't. None to me. John, would you mind uh, talking a little bit more about your site, Learning Markets, and how all the attendees could use all that valuable information there? Well, I would be pleased to do that. The, uh, well, okay, so if you don't know, uh, learningmarkets.com, it's a uh, site we cover uh, investor education for pretty much any investing style or product that you're interested in, uh, everything from ETFs to spot currencies. So we tend to divide the site into Forex options and stocks. And we have education pretty much on any subject uh, that you'd be interested in. So as I said, anything from ETFs to spot Forex, all of it's free. We even do um, daily webcasts where we just talk about what's going on in the market today. Uh, uh, so whatever the major news is, start looking at, you know, well, how might we take advantage of this opportunity, um, things like that. So uh, you could uh, tune into those. Those are also free, and uh, uh, usually about 15, 20 minutes. And, uh, but, uh, of course, you know, uh, we, we developed the site because we felt like there was a space in the industry for uh, a quote-unquote decent voice. What we wanted to be was, um, we don't have any like get rich, you know, fast stuff. Um, it it just is what it is. So we it try to be very nice. <laughs> very yeah. nice. Yeah, we we just try to be really clear with what are what are realistic expectations and which are, you know, I mean, investing is a great activity, but if you if you kind of start out with you know uh, knowing how to build a plan that's that's real, uh, you know. People tend to be a lot more successful, obviously. So we, we wanted to be we wanted to be one of the sites to fill that space, to be the alternative to some of the other things that you might see out there. <laughs> well, that's a nice balance because uh, we know there's a lot on the other side. And John, we really yeah. appreciate. It. I go to your site all the time uh, for all the. You have so much valuable content that um, I would urge all the attendees to bookmark learningmarkets.com. It has some great stuff. John, do you have any closing comments? Uh, I, I have one last thing. The, uh, so I, I, I mentioned some of my hot topics. You know, I always say paper trade, please, because it's the best way to learn. Uh, FXoptions.com is a great place to paper trade, I know. The, um, if you have unanswered questions or you want to get a little bit more detail about Fibonacci analysis, and et cetera, then please, um, uh, uh, please feel free to check out Learning Markets. We probably have it covered. If we don't, however, so if you go to Learning Markets and you're like, hey, this is cool, but there's a particular subject I'm interested in, let us know because we, we, we cover request, requests all the time. So 
So uh, tune in. You know, we do a daily event that's free. So tune in. Uh, send us an email. Uh, uh, let us know what you'd like to see covered. And we've I mean, we've done everything from uh, you know, margin requirements changes in the forex to uh, how to build a diversified portfolio of ETFs for retirement planning. So we'd love to be able to address, and we have uh, experts on, available to pretty much address uh, anything that you're interested in. You want a little bit more information about from uh, an impartial third party. That's great, and it's just as simple as going to learningmarkets.com. Is that correct? Yep, that's right. That's right. Well, John, I want to thank you on the behalf of the ISC. You always uh, do a great job, and you're right. so knowledgeable on so many different subjects, whether it's technical analysis today, Fibonacci. I know you know options very, very well, um, diversification, building portfolios. Uh, that's why I think everyone should go and learn more at learningmarkets.com. It's just a great place. So, John, thanks again. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Steve. No problem. So uh, again, I think we all should give a uh, standing ovation for John Jagerson. Uh, he did a great job today, and John will be back real soon uh, to present another topic, leverage in the FX, mar uh, FX options market. I think that will be on March 30th. You're looking at the upcoming webinars next uh, Thursday, or this upcoming Thursday we have Trading Central. Uh, that's 10 a.m. Eastern, uh, understanding moving averages and trend lines. And then next week, Tony Hansen will be with us, and she'll be talking about successful marketing, market timing, I should say. Um, so again, you know, when it comes down to trading, as John said, it really comes down to risk reward. Um, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to give you trades. Uh, you want to make sure that your own goals are aligned with whatever trades you're putting on. It just makes a heck of a lot of sense to me. Um, if you're not a short-term trader, why would you be trading uh, a one-day option? And if you don't want to trade uh, out 10 months, then you probably shouldn't be looking at those options either. Tons of ways to trade. Um, you need to just find your way. And learningmarkets.com, along with, of course, fxoptions.com, are two sites that uh, I would highly recommend. Um, please go and uh, please continue to check out other sites. But find ones that are balanced because, again, the ones that are get rich quick, um, you're probably, uh, I find that um, it's just probably too good to be true. So, uh, th John, I want to thank you again. Really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. No problem. And Thanks a lot. Um, looking forward to you coming back real soon. Um, I want to thank all the attendees. Uh, we had a really big crowd today. And uh, please continue to visit the FX Options site as well as learningmarkets.com. On behalf of the International Securities Exchange, this is Steve Meisinger wishing you a safe and happy trading day tomorrow. Take care now, everyone. Thanks, everybody. I know. Thank you for listening to our podcast. To find more podcasts on options, stocks, alternative markets, and market data, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts.